Good afternoon everyone. Look at this state. I hope you're all doing well. This is my second reading week vlog. Um, I haven't vlogged all morning because I've been in absolute agony. Like I cannot even explain. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Like I'm going to have to like crop some of this out because I've honestly been sat screaming in my room. My period pains have come back just like they did at school. And um, if you've watched any of like, my videos where I talk about like my experience um, with like periods and stuff over the years, like I used to literally have weeks off school whenever I had my period because like the pain was too much. And like, I don't have a really low pain tolerance. Like I can handle a bit of pain, but honestly, I honestly think this is like childbirth level. And that sounds like, like a huge exaggeration, but honestly never felt pain like this. Ever. Um, oh, I've literally just been sat in my room like going oh, like that honestly for about two hours three hours maybe two and a half um so yeah that's why I haven't vlogged and it's still happening like I've been dosing up on tablets trying to relieve the pain I can't find my hot water bottle here anywhere so that's probably the reason why it's carrying on for a bit longer than usual but this has given me a throwback to school times when this used to be bad I think it's because I changed my pill last year wait was it last year no two years ago I changed my um contraceptive pill um and the one I had before was amazing at relieving my pain but um it made me psycho like it made me absolutely mental so I decided to change and although this one is working really well for me in every aspect the pain has come back which is the the reason I went on the pill in the first place so Oh, it might be time to change again, which I really can't be asked for because it's all a massive kerfuffle and oh, I don't know. They always make me feel shit about my weight when I go in about the pill and then I just get really down about that. And I don't know, I can't be asked for it basically. So I don't know whether to hold out. I mean, I you it usually, the pain usually goes if I have my hot water bottle. So I think that might be the reason, but I literally have looked around my entire house and can't find it anywhere. So love that fingers crossed it all goes away soon i just want the tablets to kick in they haven't yet uh as you can tell i'm like an absolute mess right now like i looked like i just died but this is what some girls have to go through i'm literally so jealous of people who don't get period pains i know so many people who have never experienced it and i'm just beyond jealous like why me <laughs> why me uh anyway i'm gonna stop talking about this in case i've got any people who just hate this topic but it's real life so I'm obviously going to talk about it because it's nothing to be ashamed of it is reality for most women so yeah anyway I'm going to just recover and as soon as my pain's gone I was planning on doing a workout this morning so I think I'm gonna have to leave that until later or tomorrow morning when I have time um so I can do one of my muscle food workouts so I can show you guys a little I'll have a little time lapse of it um so you guys can see me do that but that'll be at some point in this vlog I'm sure so I will chat to you when I am not in absolute agony. So I've recovered from my awful morning. I'm just going to go take some post, um, some parcels to the post office really, really quickly. And then I'm going to come back and get back on with some work. I have managed to do a little bit, but um, it was a bit of a struggle because of how bad I was feeling this morning. So I'm just going to do this now. Uh, I think I'm going to film on my phone in the car because I still don't have like a mount to put my camera in there. So it will literally just slide about everywhere and probably break. So... I'm gonna use my phone and pop it in like, there's like a little space in my car, well, not my car, my mum's car, that I can pop it in so I can share with you. I thought I thought of something to talk to you guys about whilst I'm on my way to the post office, I'm gonna do that. Well, hey, the case that I've currently got on my phone is actually making this a lot more stable than it usually is, like, wow. Yay, that's actually quite a good angle as well, not too bad, not too shabby. I've um, got on this North Face fleece that I got from a vintage shop in London and I left it at home the last time I came back so I'm really happy that I get to take this back to uni with me because it's so cosy and it's just a lovely piece I can't wait to take the skiing with me as well but um, just heading off to the post office feels nice to be back in the car I literally went out last night to drop all of my family off um, for the first time since January and although like I was obviously fine because I've been driving for like three years now it was still a bit of a like oh my god because it was like tipping it down with rain and it was like so dark and loads of the um roads are really funny around my area at the minute because lots of like work's getting done on like the main road so it was so weird because I was like having to avoid all these cones on the road and I'm not really sure which way to go to the post office because one way it can be very busy depending on the time it is so Everyone's going to be coming out of work. It's going to be very busy. Yeah, yeah, it's literally packed down there. 
Thank God I chose this way. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I thought I'd have a chat about my management because um, I feel like a lot of YouTubers don't really talk about this sort of stuff and I, I hate calling myself a YouTuber because I feel like I'm just someone who makes videos. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I got contacted by Sharp Talent um, last summer, but I never saw the email. So I didn't even realize they got in contact with me. It was literally like August or July last year and the email just hadn't gone into my inbox. It had gone into like one of my other folders. So I never saw the email and then I saw my, my friend Amy um, joined with them and then they got in contact again with me. One second, just in a bit of a sticky situ. <laughs> Someone was just being an asshole behind me. It was, it's always when I film that I like have all the asshole drivers. Yeah, so they got in contact with me a few, I think a couple of months after they'd signed Amy and were like, are you interested? We messaged you last summer and I was like, oh my God, no, I never saw that email. I wasn't ignoring you, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I had a chat with the team and they are so lovely. Well, I've only chatted to my manager essentially, but he is honestly such a lovely guy, uh, really friendly and positive. And it's just really lovely to be working with him. And I recently watched one of my friend Leah's videos who's just recently signed up to them. And we had a FaceTime chat about the whole thing. And just with each other the other day and it was just so lovely because I literally feel like we're best friends and we that was the first time we'd ever FaceTimed because we just feel like we know each other well I don't know from Leah's part but I feel like I know Leah so well just from watching her videos so yeah it's really nice that I've like I'm on a management where I've got several people that I know also signed so we can also chat about it and um, go to similar things and do similar work together which is really exciting to like talk about and everything so yeah I'm thoroughly enjoying that so far and this is very busy so yeah i'm really enjoying it so far i've obviously only been signed since i think i officially was signed first of february this year and i've been just thoroughly enjoying my life really it's not changed any of my content as you will see like there has been no change in what i've been making um, similar to what Leah said she was like nothing has actually changed like it's not it's not negatively affected my channel or made my channel any different it's just I get a little bit of extra help from the people who are managing me because they help me with like prices they also help me find collaborations they just help me with all like the work that I have to do like sorting out emails and bits and pieces like that so yeah it's been really handy having them and essentially the reason i thought let's go for it because i've been contacted by a lot of management companies before um but some people wanted to take like 40 percent of whatever money i earn and i was like no because if i'm putting in all the work like why should i be giving basically half of my earnings to you uh, i know obviously management help you find some of this work which I could greatly appreciate and I understand but a lot of management who messaged me in the past was sort of like taking the piss with the cuts that they wanted so I never really thought it was a thing for me and I always thought to be honest you only needed management if you were like a massive channel but um after speaking to my manager and him explaining the concept of their um, thing I just realized that it's definitely for me it's going to really help me out it's going to give me a whole new insight it's going to be a great experience for me and I just am really excited for the journey to try something a bit different with my channel so yeah well there's changing my channel but you know what I mean and anyway so I'm just arrived at the post office now so I'm gonna just quickly go take in the little depop things thank you for buying by the way if any of you guys on here are buying um from my depop everything's pretty much under 10 pounds at the minute I've literally sold my entire life this morning when I'd recovered from my um pains I did a tiny bit of work tiny bit of reading and then sold my life on depop because I'm now 800 pounds into my overdraft thanks to the Guatemala flight so love that for me thank you I really do appreciate anyone who's buying anything because even like a five pound top is literally doing wonders for me right now because it's making me feel a lot less stressed so yeah thank you very much guys and if you do want to check out my depop it's just Shah Emily underscore it's down below I think anyway good morning everyone apologies for the lack of vlogging yesterday but I just sort of wanted to get on with my case review I felt like you'd be a little bit bored of just my constant time lapses of me typing so I didn't think I would bore you too much with that. And then I went to go see my grandparents um, before I go to London. So I've just got ready and just filmed a chatty get ready with me that will be on my main channel very, very soon. Probably this weekend actually, because I'll be able to get it up. But I am off to London soon. I'm just about to pack my suitcase, sort out what I'm gonna be wearing and stuff. I'm really excited to go see my boyfriend. Um, it's actually tipping it down with rain. So I'm gonna have to find a weather appropriate outfit, I think. 
Um, I have no idea what the weather's like in London, but I pretty much live an hour away from it, so it's probably going to be very similar weather there. I'm excited to go to London today. I hope you enjoy my little ventures. Um, my boyfriend's working. I was supposed to be meeting my manager tomorrow, but he's had to change his plans last minute, which is fair enough. So I'm literally gonna have nothing to do tomorrow whilst my boyfriend's at uni. So I'm gonna obviously be doing more work. So I might go have a walk around Kensington, um, or I might just sit and do work in one of Aiden's like built the buildings that Aiden like works in or whatever I don't know I'm just a bit nervous because I feel like I shouldn't be there because I'm not smart enough <laughs> I don't know I'll just probably sit in one of the buildings and do some work and edit maybe um, And get on with some stuff and be productive whilst Aiden's gone So we're off to go to my grandparents house now and um, my nan's gonna come with us to the train station We're gonna go pick up my newspaper for my granddad as well and go to the petrol station quickly um, I'm wearing this new little leopard headband from Primark. Absolutely love it. I think I've seen Amy wear this. I feel like it reminds me of Amy, so I think she might have this. Um, it doesn't really go with my outfit, but to be fair, it's quite nice because it keeps my hair out my face. Oh, thank you. But yeah, me and mum are just heading to Nan and Grandad's house. Are we going there first or petrol first? Petrol first. Can't get my seat belt. Oh, we, we need, still need to film the video together. I can't get my seat belt. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> actually not as busy as I thought it was going to be because it's like five o'clock so I was a bit worried about it um, being too crazy but it's all good I'll be at Aiden's very soon I'm just changing over on the tube so woohoo I had a bit of a nightmare it was super super busy but I'm just on route to find my boyfriend I'm quite happy with how I dealt with it because usually I'd have a panic attack and I feel like um, my medication's been really helping me to like relax more in stress stressful situations like that so yeah I'm feeling really happy with how that's all going okay so the lighting's a bit weird here but um I'm at Aiden's now it's like ages later it's like pretty bad happened like in Aiden's area earlier so I didn't really like talk about it or anything since we come back but we've had food and we sort of just chilled at Aiden's house because I don't know we just didn't really think there was any need to go out it's been really nice yeah. so um I'll probably keep this vlog going into tomorrow because I haven't done much today. Yeah, oh, exciting news. My little cousin has got two new puppies and they're Chugs, which is so cute. It's like Pugs and Chihuahuas mixed, which I thought I probably would. When you say Pug and Chihuahua mixed, that's not my ideal type of dog. But it's they're honestly the cutest things ever. They're called Teddy and Evie and they're brother and sister. And we were like on group FaceTime. I'll put some screenshots on the... Thing right now and then also there's photos of my nan and granddad with them and I'm so gutted because obviously Sophie got them today and she was planning on surprising me and my brother with them because we're like all really close she just wanted to surprise us that's what and she hadn't told us anything about getting dogs or at all and we're all like obsessed with dogs I was like gutted that I couldn't see them today but it's fine because I'm going back home before I go to Lincoln again so I'll be able to meet them and I'll be able to show them on the vlog for the first time and I'm sure before I know it they'll be way bigger than like what I first see them like and I'll be like what the hell how have they grown so big because it dogs just grow so quickly don't they but yeah it's made me really jealous because I wanted a dog my whole life and now I'm sad and I'm gonna have to live it through Sophie but I'm looking forward to getting my own dogs one day yeah I'll see you in the morning I'm not really sure what we're up to update you when we've made a plan hello good morning happy international women's day I've just put a few quotes on my Instagram so I'm going to pop some of them on the screen just to make everyone feel happy and empowered um, as women uh, I feel really passionate passionately about this so I'm thinking about doing like a feminism slash feminist video um, for a taboo Tuesdays with my best friends because for some reason being a feminist is seen as something really negative in the society which is pretty baffling like I obviously know that there are some extremists but yeah I don't know I feel like doing this with like Megan especially I don't know if Hattie would want to be involved but definitely Megan feels very similar to me um so maybe we could do a video like that if people had any like 
questions regarding it. But yeah, happy International Women's Day. It is Friday. Aiden's currently at uni. He's actually not in for as long as I thought he was, so I just stayed at his house. I've been editing all morning. I've been reading all morning for my course. So I'm just going to do my makeup now so that I'm ready for when he gets back and we can go out. I think we might be heading to Chelsea and go to the Farm Girl Cafe. I've been wanting to go there for ages. It looks stunning there. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can go there and it won't be too busy. Um, I think it should be okay because it's a, still a weekday. Apparently really popular, so who knows if that's going to happen. But nonetheless, we're going to have a lovely day out. So yeah, I'm just going to get ready for it. And I'll see you when we're on our way. Putting some YouTube on whilst um, I get ready. And I'm just watching Luke Birch's um, recent relationship video. And it's making me so sad because I always feel like horrible when I say goodbye to Aiden and he's literally just like a two hour train journey away like it's not even that bad um obviously it it is still like I'm not taking away the fact that I can feel sad about it it's just I can't even imagine like long distance relationship abroad so it's making me so it was like making me tear up then so I need to stop like farm girl right now and I've just got an acai bowl and Aiden's got a suit. Do you know what's in your suit? Not a clue man. Okay well hopefully it looks enjoyable. Is that sourdough? It looks pet. Yum. We even got our, our food literally came in two minutes like not even that and um, before our drink so that's the first and this cu cucumber water is amazing. My rose latte has just come and then Aiden's got a flat white right? Yeah. Look how yum. So um, me and Aiden have just finished in Farm Girl. We went to the Portobello Road one in Notting Hill and it was stunning. Like I was expecting like, cause I'd seen lots of people go there before and uh, like over the years, I, th I didn't know it was gonna be like as good. I just thought it was like an Instagram sort of place. Like the food looked amazing and stuff, but I just never knew if it was actually gonna be decent. And it's not like ridiculously expensive either, is it? It's not like, it's a, a little bit more than the average, but it's still like tasty food that's like healthy and yummy like obviously not everything's healthy on there but it was so so good and we're both really like <laughs> we're both really full now um so i definitely recommend there's also one in chelsea wow so me and aiden are just en route to body worlds which is actually is it a pop-up museum oh, no, i think it's, it used to be pop-up in london but that's permanent oh it's permanent i think oh, so sick. Oh, it might not be, but... Yeah, at least. Yeah, okay, so if you're interested and kind of weird like me and Aiden, um, you might be interested in going to Body Worlds. Did it, where did it start? Was, did you say Amsterdam? Sorry, just had to squeeze through. Gunter von something. Gunter von something. Or something Gunter. Okay, yeah, well, we'll find out a lot of information today. Me and Aiden really enjoy going to, like, museums and things like this, don't we? We just find it really interesting. Apart from Museum of London, which was kind of a bit of a hiccup last time. It just wasn't as great. Um, but, yeah, so we're heading to Body World, which is... Whereabouts is it located? Piccadilly. Piccadilly Circus. I remember seeing it, but I couldn't remember where. Um, so we're going to go there and you get to see like real life body parts. Yeah, so we get to see like the whole nervous system, like not obviously working because that would be impossible, but like just in the That's flesh, fun. which um, I think is going to make me feel a bit queasy. <laughs> It'll make you feel your nervous. Yeah, it'll make, yeah, it'll be so weird, but it's super interesting, especially like because um, it ties in with all my forensic stuff, kind of like with all the bodies and stuff. So yeah, I'm really, really excited and we're heading off now because Aiden's booked tickets. Bless him. Love ya. We're not allowed to take photos, so probably won't be able to take photos. <laughs> Thank you. 
How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> right, so me and Aiden are now back at Ahir's. Um, we went to Body Worlds. Um, we spent how long in there? Two hours? Plus. Yeah, I think we spent over like two hours in there. It was honestly so interesting. Definitely like the best, I think the best or one of the best museums like I've ever been to and you agreed, didn't you? It was just so interesting. Like it was sort of like, I felt like I was doing a bit of revision for my, some of my like um, What's modules. What's the most interesting thing you learned? The most interesting thing I learned was um, there were two facts I wanted to say. Definitely the blood one. I've got it on my phone. I think I filmed a couple of clips, which obviously you're not really supposed to, but I just wanted to sort of show you what it was like in there. Um, and Aiden filmed a little bit of me dancing on one of those weird um, interactive things. But I re we said we really liked it. It was like interactive as well as um, like just looking around. We also got audio guides. Like that was that included wasn't that was included. Like you didn't have to pay extra for it. Um, so we like you could use this little button thing to click and listen to all the different um, things in boxes or like the interactive things going on around the room. Like you could do stuff and it was just really it was fun. The new layer of skin one that was good. Yeah, that was it. Is it every three weeks. Every yeah, every three weeks, your entire like top layer of skin is replaced, and it was like I think in a year, See. seventeen. I think it was like seventeen Which suits. Fifty-one weeks, yeah, about right. Yeah, seventeen suits of skin is of made outer e skin. of outer skin is made every year. So like your entire outer layer of skin is replaced, like because it just dies and. Oh, turns no, to dust how weird oh, no, thick that layer is. like oh it was making us like really queasy at times wasn't it like because like, we could like feel our like inner part the inner parts of our body like really well, it was, I didn't like talk about the joints I could feel everything really the joints no I think the worst thing for me was over the baby area because I I'm really excited for childbirth I'm not gonna lie um but in like 10 years time <laughs> maybe not 10 years um maybe 10 years <laughs> I don't know at this point um but we got to see like the different stages of like embryo development and fetal um development and it sort of terrified me because it wasn't even like a full child and it was massive weren't it it was huge it had a heart and organs. yeah and we were just like thinking about like how old we were because obviously we were in the eggs of our mums and then our mums were in the eggs of our grand grandparents and gra not grandparents grandmas and um yeah it was just a bit weird like you just sort of start reevaluating your life i really like that ted talk as well that guy who landed the plane on the hudson sully where everything is yeah that's mental and just sort of like it's i, lo I like moments like that because i actually sit back and realize i'm like oh i need to just do stuff when i want <laughs> yeah, yeah it was such such an enjoyable experience and it was definitely worth the money we like spent a lot of time there do you know what i mean it was like yeah. thorough there was like three floors in, right, so say we spent like two hours, ten minutes, like a show. Yeah. And you need to spend like 50 quid on a show, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you're into that stuff. I know obviously it's not everyone's thing, but it's sort if you're of went. Yeah, if you're not into it, then you'd definitely be like, what the fuck? But um, I just find the body so interesting, like in general. Well. And um. All the interactive stuff. Yeah, the interactive stuff was fun. Look, the um. The blood pressure thing. Oh, yeah, we got to. We took our own blood pressure. We both were in the normal range, which is fab. Yours was a bit, Aims was a bit weird, so we need to sort of like um, research that a little bit to see what yeah, was going one, on one then. Of, I was like, one was high, one was low, wasn't it? Yeah. And what else did we do? We did like a few bits and pieces like that were interactive. Um, we sat on them like seats and then we did them, that ball thing, it wasn't really working for me. But uh, yeah, it was just super interesting and especially for anyone who's into like anatomy, physiology, the body, the bones. It was super interesting. It sort of like took you through different stages of the body, like big like processes like respiration, reproduction, um, movement. Other what other well, sections the thing were there? That, the thing that I have was called it's called systolic hypertension. Hypertension, and we learned that in biology A level. A a slightly raised systolic blood pressure, but a low diastolic blood pressure. What does that mean? It's called isolated systolic hypertension. Yeah. And carries an increased risk of developing heart heart attacks or strokes. 
Brilliant. Stunning. I'm, I have a high risk of heart attack as well because of my, it's in my family history, so. But yeah, I, I definitely like, if you're in London and you're thinking of something to do and it's something that you don't mind spending a bit of money on, it's not even like ridiculously expensive in the grand scheme of things compared to other things that you pay for in London. Um, it's definitely worth going to check out. It's a museum you definitely need to go to. We just went and got some food and now we're back here. We had a lovely walk as well. We like had a really long, nice walk and then just got the bus um, a tiny bit of the way back because it was just convenient. It sort of like pulled up as we walked past the bus stop so we thought, why not? Um, thank you very much for watching this vlog. This is my reading week part two. It's just sort of not all me doing work because I did actually want to have time like doing fun things as well so I hope you enjoyed the little adventures over the past couple of days and I will see you in my last reading week vlog which will be the weekend Saturday and Sunday so it'll be me and Aiden doing stuff tomorrow and also me moving back on Sunday and also meeting my cousin's dog so I'm really excited to do that um and yeah I will see you soon for another vlog bye